Welcome to another News Game Plus. I'm Dermy, and I'm here as always with New Game Plus executive producer and and uh, communist, apparently, <laughs> which we'll get Jesus. to later, Jason A. Callahan. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll you'll have plenty of time to comment it up yeah, through this podcast. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, I know because it's it's the podcast on the moon, the last podcast on to the moon. the moon. So yes, uh, it's been a very very exciting uh, very exciting week, and uh, I tell you what, it doesn't get much better. Well, again, I'll save it for later. But sometimes the internet <clears throat> delivers, and it's why I love the internet. So yeah. I'm getting choked up. Because I love the internet so much. It's been part of my mm. life for most of my life. You guys were born after it was invented. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. wasn't. But I just... Yeah, you you like remember this. your 1400 board modem, so yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, 1400. Yeah. <laughs> you capo bastard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you must have like two TVs. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Both did, of them Sony, yeah. Did your mum have no, a car no, as well no, as your dad? <laughs> no, no Paltronics, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's let's go... Uh, well, let's go into some game news. It'll mm. save some time for later. <clears throat> um, firstly, um, actually, during COVID, it, not to any surprise, but uh, some numbers came out. Uh, I think it was from the IGEA, but I might have that wrong, about the Australian game industry. Oh, yeah. And during COVID, actually... Well, not during COVID, but their, their results for last year which has been during COVID, during lockdown in most places, um, has shown that the Australian game industry revenue has gone up by 29%. Yeah, unsurprising. Um, it's not surprising, but it's nice. Yeah. It's good. Um, but, I mean, co- there's a lot of talk about lockdowns and all the impact on business. Um, some businesses, yes, there was a lot of impact, and I had mm-hmm. some customers who were just devastated by what happened. But <clears throat> but as with most of these things, there were other areas that did yeah. well. Um, and look, gaming obviously should be no surprise at all. Yeah. Did well. Um, now some of the other numbers there. Seventy six percent of developers uh, are not do not have any plans to lay off staff at the moment, That's which good. is a good yeah. sign. Sixty seven percent of developers this is in Australia will be hiring new staff or have plans yeah. to hire new staff. So so the game industry at the moment is strong. Um, but when no, I say I know Armello just hired some more, so yeah. It, it, well, look, it, it's it, it's good to see because I mean I don't know what our exports are. I don't have the numbers for mm. Australia, but I know in Canada it's like a four billion dollar industry, right? And, and if video games were made of coal, the libs would be all over it yeah, because yeah, there's yeah. there's money to be made. Um, but pro- thing, a number another number here which is both good and bad. Um, at the game, the Australian game industry is apparently one thousand two hundred and forty five people in size which isn't big it is yeah. small uh, it's more people who work for Adani yeah, <laughs> by, yeah, yeah. Uh, by far yeah, by, yeah. by about 12, yeah, 1244 yeah. people yeah. but um, but that's still very small um, and, and and that's it's something that's always worried me when I when I see things like um, those courses to get mm. into video game development uh, often like uh, um, <clears throat> can't remember the name uh, of them but the ones that come up on Facebook you know they're the, God, the how do I forget the name? Yeah, I've, I, I, James the, the Academy and uh, I don't know Quamba. Quamba's the stick manufacturer. Quamba's yeah, apparently they produce about a thousand graduates per year. Yeah, that's um, where they get work. Yeah, yeah, which means that if every person in the Australian video game industry quit tomorrow, they they just worth there's it, yeah. one year, and and so they'd have to quit to put in the next year. So we're we're generating far more. Far more, I'd say, capable mm. uh, people. Because look, uh, there, there's a lot of these people come out, um, and and we both know some some mad skill artists, mm. right? For example, um, and 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 twenty nine percent of of the Australian video game industry uh, full time workers, I think yeah, it was, yeah. are actually artists, right? Mm. So there's a lot of there's a lot of jobs there, um, but we know tons and tons of mad skill artists. It, it'd be good if the industry was bigger, and, and really is is there the good signs, and it shows that the industry is going well. But the government really needs to get on and yeah. and just push this along because if we're going to have, there, there are people that say the COVID coronavirus, whatever you want to call it, is going to um, still have an impact for at least another year. Yeah, there's there's opportunities there for for um, the industry and the, uh, to to make money. As I mean, we're we're, we're at the point where the EU and uh, England <clears throat> are getting into fights over coronavirus vaccines. You know what I mean? Like. Wars have been started for less, so yeah. Yeah, uh, look, and um, I don't rate England's chances anymore. I don't think they win that fight, but yeah. Uh, look, there's also the um, we don't know yet, and, and look, I, I'm I'm pro vax. I want to be very clear yeah. before I say this, but this is this sentiment I've heard from a lot of people. I think it's fair. We the the vaccines have been done in less than a year, and that is a spectacular achievement. Yeah. That is that is one of uh, humanity's greatest. Yeah, that's a like, to the moon moment effect. without without the joke. Yeah, it is. It it is. It is a spectacular achievement to get a vaccine out that quick. But the thing is, it's still the it's still aside from the science of it, 
it's still been a year. So when you look at your polio vaccine, your smallpox vaccine, they've had decades to fine tune to yeah. to. To, to find out I mean, what... you still get people talking about the HPV vaccine, like the Gardasil. I mean, it first came... You remember the crap it copped? And it was in development for five years before they thing. And then when it came out, they were claiming it was giving girls cancer. And then, I mean, it was never proven to. Look, there's it? always claims. And, yeah. and, and you can't completely just tell everybody that says there's claims or problems to shut up because that makes them think they're being... Yeah, silence. Sil- silence. And, yeah. and it feeds into the conspiracy theory mindset. Yeah. So you've got to be careful how you tackle that. Um, but I would say um, I, the... the we're still early. That's what yeah. I'm getting at, right? We, we vaccine. Uh, we haven't seen how it will go in the mass population with different variations yeah, of coronavirus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope it goes well, but we still don't know. But anyway, the upshot of that is there's still opportunity there for the video game industry to keep going yeah. well. Um, now, and, and aside from the hardware, has had problems with supply because of yeah. uh, China. Um, the software the game side obviously has done really well. Now. Some other stats out of those people. Thirty nine percent of the industry is programmers. Yeah, um, I'm happy to hear that. There's good programmers represent. Well, so, the, other, the other thing with programmers, again, programmers <coughs> and artists, the main two things. I mean, nearly every job in the games industry is leverageable into other industries. Oh, look at it. It's like seventy percent. Seventy percent odd of everybody working in the Australian games industry is a programmer or an artist. Yeah. Um. So unsurprising. Yeah, um, so it's not like there's man- much management bloat, quote unquote. Well, ninety percent of business roles, uh, yeah. that's still leave some left over. That's yeah. there's still a bit left over, but a bit business. A bit like roles. QA and stuff like that. I it's assume. good to see because yeah. I, I worked. I remember in the dot com boom because I worked in a dot com. Yeah, that booms. I was about six. Yeah, that's fine. well. At one point, I was. <laughs> I, I mean, and, and any of my friends who worked there at the company, like Darren, if he's listening as well, I was, um, don't know. At one point, we were all extremely wealthy. Like uh, I, w- I wouldn't be sitting in a podcast. I'd be on a yacht. And <laughs> uh, it turns out that uh, the management was incompetent, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, and and so basically, um, the, but that we had bloke, we had we had as many managers as we had programmers yeah. uh, and and graphic people at that point, and so it's good to see the 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 game industry while it's been doing well and and has always looking to expand, yeah. hasn't expanded with business development roles yeah. and, and stuff like. And, and the ones that do are usually the ones that close down, to be honest. So yeah, the ones that bloat. Yeah, it, it's look. I, I think that's good. So ninety percent of of the full time staff are business roles. That, that's a good sign. I think yeah. I, I think it's been kept lean. You don't have a whole heap of layers of management. I, I, I think a quarter of managers is about where you want to be, kind of maximum. Do you know what I mean? Because realistically, you do need people who have that skill set of how can we funnel these resources. Like there is an actual skill to managing, <laughs> believe it or not. Despite all the shit managing, oh, there, there is, but most yeah. can't do it. I, I, I've, I've worked corporate that, that's, yeah, that, that, that's, that's kind of my argument with a lot of this stuff is <laughs> the like, managers can't manage yeah. and they, 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 there's a thing called the Peter Principle yeah, they're, they're promoted to the point of your own incompetence yeah, yeah and, and that was and that's why businesses back in the 90s when they were downsizing they'd get rid of middle management because yeah. that was where all the dickheads were yeah. right that was where the incompetent people Mate, were. it happens to Coles all the time so what'll happen is like <clears throat> someone will prove themselves to be a, a terrible area manager where you have to at least be partially competent because you need to balance the interests of store teams who are dealing with the coal face dealing with all that and then balance the expectations of management you need to find that happy medium and doing that is sick and then you can tell the bad ones because they always get roles in head office seconded to a department because you always know that the second that they're cut, trim and fat they're going to get rid of all those seconded roles or all those consultancy roles because it's how they save money and so um it is it is very much a case of that and i think the other thing as well is it's it, it's not even i think in australia we have a little bit more of instead of saying hey you were you have this job as you know whatever there's no salary growth inside of the same role so basically you get hired and you get paid your 55 grand well 60 grand i think is the average um income in australia 63 for manager average no for for a normal player sorry i was gonna say yeah um so you get that and then there's no room for that to expand there's no room to say after your 10th year or after you've shown a certain amount of qualification or whatever you can access up to 75, 80K because that's not how they pay anymore. They pay on these set figures. And so the only way to get more pay is to become a manager. And you might be a top tier worker ant, but you're just not a manager. Do you know what I mean? Like some people don't have that skill set. They don't have that particular um, skill set about them. And so the problem becomes, you know, they get promoted to these positions and it, they're just not suited for them. So while they might've been a great worker, while they still, you know, could contribute in that role, you know, they, they need more money because they want to, you know, have a family or they want to do whatever. And there's just no such thing as, you know, senior staff anymore. It's you're a staff member, you're a junior member or you're a manager. You know what I mean? And yeah. yeah. 
Oh, look, I remember coming out of uni and going to all the graduate placement stuff, and yeah. every career, <clears throat> every career path ended with management. Yeah, and and it's an arrogant sort of um, yeah. thing to say to think that. There was there was there was this idea that once you've made it, you become a manager. So, hey, yeah. you know, I always I always had a problem. It's a little bit that. capitalist if you think about it. It's a little bit. Oh, now the money's going to work for me. I'm not going to do the hard work. I'm just going to sit there and watch my money. You know, what, I, I, yeah. I, I agree a bit on it. <clears throat> Look, I know a few business coaches, right? Yeah. I've, I've known quite a few business coaches over the years. Uh, by the way, if you're looking at business coach, first get a life coach. Um, yeah, that's what that's my advice. And then once that's done, get a business coach. Anyway, the um, uh, business coach is always this idea that. Um, you want more time off, you want more money. So you, they, they try and set you up with this, with a business where you don't do any work. Yeah. And and I've always hated that. And, yeah. and and it's sort of like, I mean, I personally never want to get to a point where I'm not working. Yeah. I, I, I don't dream of sitting around collecting money doing nothing. Um, and, and, that's yeah. some, and, and I find it bizarre that people do. I, 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 I describe it, I describe it myself and Prospect, you know, the work we do at events and all that kind yeah. of stuff. I describe it as a journeyman. We don't want to be masters where we sit in the dusty halls and, you know, point fingers and allocate jobs and stuff like that. We'll always be journeymen. Like, we don't want to do every hard work. We want to make it as easy a job as possible, but we still enjoy doing the events. We still enjoy doing all that kind of stuff. Like, we still earn our keep, per se. Do you know what I mean? We're, we're not pleb in it. We're not you know, uh, scrubbing floors, but at the same time, if a floor needs to be scrubbed, well, it's got to be scrubbed. And if I, well, like, it's if the, I, it's yeah. the gig economy, but not in an abusive relationship yeah. style, which is what the Liberal government wants yeah, to be. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, look, uh, anyway, look, uh, the other, another one, one more stat on the video game industry in Australia, 40% of full-time video game jobs are in Melbourne. Yeah, um, surprising. Probably because we've got the uh, the arcade uh, yeah. and, and that bit, but... Yeah, look, uh, that's good if you if you're a video game dev, uh, come to Melbourne. <laughs> so it will protect you from coronavirus as well, especially if you're New South Wales. Get out of that joint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking run. Yeah. Um, and, and if you if you ever work for a company that says anything like uh, the strength of the company is the management team, uh, run run from that as far as you can as well. Or Big, yeah, the, what, what are the words? Like, like, we, we work, we work Richard, hard. And, you incompetent, arrogant fuckheads. Yeah, <laughs> we work hard and we play hard. There's like four. Oh, we only hire the best. Yeah. We we run a tight ship here yeah. you know you know one of my favorite sayings it, it, it applies to relationships and business if somebody has to say it it's not true yeah, uh, yeah. and and I, I i mean i do a lot of consulting now and i have for have for 20 years right uh because my company was actually registered on australia Day. Yeah. um <clears throat> so it's almost 20 years but yeah i walk into places and i'll hear them say it and they're talking to themselves every yeah. time they're telling themselves and i'll look around and and i'll be looking at office and they'll be and and i'll have some dickhead going oh we work really hard here. And I'll look around and it looks like a football match is on. Yeah, <laughs> and there's all these people going everywhere. And it's just, if you have to say it, it's not true. Anyway, let's, uh, we a bag management. So yeah, help yeah, me yeah. At all. I shouldn't do that. Um, big, big hello to anybody. Yeah, who you, says, yeah so if, if you don't like our bosses, feel free to call them and tell them we're dickheads because I'm sure our bosses will agree. Yeah, well, see, that was my problem because I'd do that. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, now, uh, another gaming news. We'll do gaming news. <clears throat> but anyway, look, I'll, I'll finish that. The, the Australian video game industry is doing really well. Lockdown has helped. Yeah. The, it, but it also shows there's scope to do better. Yes. And also shows that if we ever had a government that understood anything except digging shit up and selling it cheap, right, we could do really well. And, and the Canadian video game industry, and they produce some amazing games. Um, and we have in the past here in Australia, yeah, we've yeah. made some great games. Um, um, we made Untitled Goose Game. That was like last year. Yeah, uh, well, I was, I was going to go back as far as uh, um, the Transformers game. The yeah. PS2 was one of the best PS2 games. Uh, we, and when you go back to Melbourne House, yeah. and you go back to the old Commodore 64 games and that. Um, tongue, there's heaps. We, we, we can do it here. And, and in fact, I would argue that our culture in Australia being, uh, they call it larrikin or being, being not, not being... Um, uh, like, the um, should be right culture. Yeah, I actually believe that works well for uh, inventiveness and free yeah. thinking. Uh, there's other countries say they're you know the land of the free, but they're not. <laughs> we we are, uh, and in fact, I think that help would help with with um, software development, yeah. video game development. It shows that there's opportunities there, and and we really, if the government jumped on and really did something useful for the video game industry, we, we would go gangbusters. Well, I mean, forty percent in a state run by Dan Andrews <laughs> coincidence? I think not. Do you know what I mean? Like. Yeah, we're going to show the value of a competent leader. There you go. Um, uh, anyway, look, uh, okay, next gaming story. Um, Cyberpunk uh, 2077 is coming to Tesla cars. 
soon you'll be able to play it. You know how Tesla cars have that giant Jesus. big display? Basically, if you have a look at a Tesla, anyone who hasn't jumped in, they're really cool. Um, there's a giant like iPad <laughs> sort of thing sitting in the middle. I, I've always worried what would happen if you bumped it or something. But anyway, it's a giant like iPad thing. It shows all the states of the car, but it also can play games. And uh, one of the games you can play on it is now I don't know if you like Stadia I you, or something. I imagine Stadia or Xbox. Well, you're streaming. You're yeah. streaming a game into your car in the middle <laughs> of the Nullarbor. Yeah, we're going across the Nullarbor, kids. Um, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll pick this time to play Cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah, so Cyberpunk twenty and that, that's kind of cool. Uh, is, is, so Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven is coming to Tesla cars to, as, as a playable game. And in, you you know, the, you know before the bad on rap the in car computer. <laughs> so you, you know before the bad rap of the game is received. You know that this was a marketing point they thought of two years ago, three years ago. You know what I mean? Like they were just waiting to bring it out. Like yeah. <laughs> well, they, they, they also it, it shows off their shows off the in car computers must be pretty beefy. Yeah. And all it's really doing is monitoring all the all the systems on. Well, there. I mean, yeah, it's yeah, running that. Like yeah, holy crap. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Um, that, I thought that was pretty cool. Now um, because because uh, I think I'm. Uh, I think I have to have a Sonic story at least every second of podcast. Of course, of uh, course. So Sonic voice actor uh, Roger Craig Smith, um, uh, nowhere near as famous as, um, as Charles Martinet, who does uh, Mario, but, uh, yeah, but he's action, done yeah. Sonic for the last 10 years, and uh, and uh, he's actually finishing up as voice actor for Sonic. Really? Yep. Uh, there's no replacement. There's, no, don't know, there's a few rumours floating around online about what's going on, but basically he's finished, he's finished so they're up. So ch- they're obviously changing the direction they're taking it then. <coughs> Well, I hate Sonic Boom. No, Sonic Boom was good. Well, no. see, this is. I looked at what he's done in the last ten years with Sonic, yeah. and and you know what? If if Sega was, if Sega was discerning about yeah. what Sonic games would release, it would be one of the more respected game franchises because he did the Sonic voice in Sonic Generations, yeah. which was which it's was a game. great yeah. game. He did the Sonic voice in the Sonic Boom cartoons, yeah, it was which good. which were really. If you ha- anybody hasn't watched Sonic Boom cartoons, yeah, it's worth watching. They're yeah. fun. They're, they're, I mean, you're probably not going to sit down and watch them like a yeah, background fodder. Yeah, just chuck them on if you if you're bored and and you got a streaming service with on. Just chuck them on. They 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 they're funny. They've got some good moments. Um, he did the voice of Sonic Forces, which is, game, which was yeah. a it's a great Sonic game. Mm. Um, because because the reason being, and this is what we talked about in the review um, of it, is because Sonic Forces treats Sonic like a racing game, not yeah. a platform game, and that's how to do it right. But that's my thing on um, talking racing games. He uh, Sonic Team Racing yeah. as well, which is actually the best Mario Kart game. The the the, the second one on three sixty <laughs> absolutely is yeah, it's great. Uh, Even Blur are the two best Mario Kart games. I haven't played Blur. Really? Uh, uh, no, if you, if, yeah, I'll, I'll, you should find it cheap. It's good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, Sonic Team Racing. Um, he also he also um uh, the ca- the cameo of Sonic when Sonic was in Wreck It Ralph. I remember oh, when, yeah. when Wreck It Ralph came out. I remember I watched that in the movies with my son, and he saw Sonic. He jumped on there. He's all so like, he's only little now. He'd be yeah, embarrassed yeah. at me saying that. Um, and yeah, also, there's even been a second Wreck It Ralph movie too. There was no second record Ralph movie. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like it's like Aliens. Wrecked 3, it, Ralph. Yeah, uh, wrecked the, it, Ralph. The yeah. Predator between Predator and Predators. There was no yeah, movies. Yeah. Between there. We've gone through this before. Some movies don't exist. Yeah. Uh, Ralph breaks the internet. There's, there's um, only there's only three Indiana Jones. Yeah. 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 yeah <laughs> absolutely. Um, there, there's only two and a half Star Wars movies. Um, oh, oh may, yeah. maybe Rogue One. Don't need to enough, and then go play that stompy Ewok game on the yeah, Switch, yeah. and that's that's the that's the real ending of uh, of, of Return of the Jedi. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so Ralph breaks the internet was so so incredibly disappointing because it was clearly <laughs> just a bunch of focus tested crap. Yeah. Oh, let's put in a bunch of brand names. I reckon they all paid for it. Yeah, so for make sure. Yeah, yeah. It was just it was what happens when. You take a really good idea and you just can't do it again. Wasn't, wasn't that after Lasseter got removed? Because Lasseter was John Lasseter was um, <clears throat> got done for um, sexual harassment. And that was just oh, he was his, just yeah. doing inappropriate hugs. Yeah, but I, I don't think it was like you know, hugging. You yeah. Know. So, but but it was um, look, he, yeah, it was it was during the Me Too and and the, there was a clean up that had to happen. And he was part of that. Yeah. Um, so I, I, look, he seemed like on the low end of yeah. some of the accused stuff. But in saying that. You either clean this stuff up or you don't. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and I felt bad for him, but but see, definitely though, and this is where the the art and the artist sort of thing yeah, we've discussed yeah. many times on podcasts. Lasseter, if you look at the Pixar movies he was involved in, yeah. compared to the ones now afterwards, there is yeah. a difference yeah, for sure. There, there's there's a charm missing. There's yeah. a um, and also, they, they, all, they all strike me as cynical marketing now. I, I watch them and I'm just like, 
this is all focus tested bullshit. This is what demographic can we hit with our next movie? That's the Disney influence. Uh, Soul, right? Yeah. Soul was, and and a lot of people say they love Soul. Soul was made for a market. To, it was made for the bloggers. Uh, the ending was, ma- the ending either went to a group of stupid Americans in a room where they said, no, let him die because it's all sad. Or, Zom the spoils. Fuck the spoilers. It's yeah. a shit movie, right? Uh, or it just no, So it's not a shit movie. It, it wasn't a bad movie, but the ending wrecked it because yeah. the ending made the whole movie unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. There was no there was That's no why message. with Ori in the Blind Forest, that first Ori game, because everything goes back to normal at the end, it's like, <clears> well, what, was that, what was that all about? What was the point? Like, yeah, like, yeah what, what's what the lesson been learned here? Yeah. Whereas, whereas that was the thing like you could say about first record Ralph is he, at the end of it he comes to terms of who he is this is the new world this is the new Ralph he has yeah. Vanellope it, it, it worked on and, that basis and he, Ralph breaks the internet they went oh you know what we should do now we should have a, like a, a strong girl character yeah and it said, and you go well he kind of had one uh, yeah. like, like and, and but you didn't get it because it wasn't the sort of strong girl character that Twitter thinks is yeah. and, and you get to, and look don't get me wrong I, I think that's a good thing to try and do and yeah, it's yeah. necessary but the <laughs> way it was done in Ralph Breaks the Internet I saw, I saw, was wrong. I saw a great meme today and it made me think of you it's too, <laughs> ugly, it's too, uh, too, too, ugly, too ugly for Instagram too old for TikTok just mentally ill enough for Twitter and I found that was the funniest thing I'd read in uh, weeks I'm feeling personally attacked <laughs> <laughs> Personally, uh, I read that. I was like, that's very funny to me. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah. look, you, you can tell focus tested bullshit, yeah, right? Yeah. It, and there's more of it now than ever before yeah. because because they want to get they, they want the easy media, they want the media that everything's comes about and, expanding the franchise and yeah, not just like, yeah, making and, art in its own sake. And and it's it's like oh look, and I, the internet hates this, so we've got a whole heap of free yeah. stories. I look at his three egg accounts that didn't like something three three accounts with ten followers between them complaining. It was probably someone in the office kicking yeah, it off. Let's yeah. be honest. It, and it's just and look, I'm cynical about this stuff, but but look, I know I I've dealt with marketing people a lot in the past, and I I, I remember um, a, a guy I worked closely with for a long time who who runs a marketing company, and they did Philip Morris as one of their customers. Yeah, right. And I said to him like, how do you do Philip Morris? And I, I couldn't personally. Um, have them to cuss me because well you know all my ethics and morals are in in my drawer underneath a big pile of cash. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was telling me that that um, that in the old days before before social media they used to have a room full of people who'd ring up talkback radio and they'd all be yeah. the same ones right. So Labor Party still does it. Yeah. Labor Party used to do well, it. Well, like, yeah. you'd hear the guy in the room next to him hang up yeah. and then you go oh, I agree with the last guy. It's a disgrace what they're doing, right? And and they did they did a smoking campaign. That company did a smoking campaign about how smoking is your right to smoke anywhere. Yeah, two, is and two right. GB and three AW um, producers would reach out and say we're going to bring up this. Do you want to be? Like, it's all planned. Yeah. yeah. And then he then he told me they moved then to and this is a while ago since I've spoken to him. Um, um, they they then moved to a you know, a bunch of people at the time in their office with different Twitter accounts yeah. and stuff or social media accounts. He said, but it's no doubt Twitter. Uh, n- n- now they now they outsource them because I know they the big the big ones Reddit the big one now is Reddit. There's <coughs> so much hail corporate shit on Reddit. It's like oh like oh I found my boots have this weird thing in the middle of them. Just happens to have the logo in the shot. Yeah. It's, an, it's an old Karma account that got bought. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Like you just spot the hail corporate. Well, that's show, what- though. That's what there was a lot of the talk over. Except you mentioned Marvel on my yeah, spot on. Yeah, well, Marvel was. um, Look, Marvel. See, Marvel's like McDonald's. It can do. It it can be satisfying its way. That's another meme I saw was. uh, it was like a, a two couple we'll do panel, a meme review, like a couple panel meme. Yeah, I should, I should do the Hi, Geordie PewDiePie. thing. I should do the Geordie thing. Bring it up. Oh, well, Geordie's PewDiePie. PewDiePie. I'm not. I'm not a, I'm not a Nazi like you. Um, You're on Discord right yeah, now. That's true. That's true. Um, and, and it was like supremacist? it was like it was like um, it was like uh, maybe maybe I maybe I. Uh, treated you badly and it's someone looking back at Captain Marvel and they've got behind them is Wonder Woman 1984 and so they're like they're looking back and going okay oh, yeah. <laughs> at the, at the risk at the risk of turning this into the podcast that should be done by Liam right yeah, yeah. Um, Captain Marvel all the fuss out of that now I, I thought Captain Marvel was an okay movie but it was it was like the um, it was like all the Marvel stuff it was it, it, like I said it was McDonald's right but the thing that nobody got and this is weird because the controversy was around the female character, yeah. right? And and look, I I don't believe female characters are objectionable to the nerd crowd. And the reason I say that is because the biggest nerd movies when I was growing up were Terminator, Aliens, yeah. and, and and they were absolutely yeah. female characters. Ripley movies, stuff, right? like that, yeah. Um, but see, this is the thing with Captain Marvel. They they talked a lot about oh, but nobody likes female. The, the focus was on that. The story. Do you remember the story in Captain Marvel? I've you, never seen you, it. Okay. 
this spoiler, right? But I think it's been long enough now. The story was about a group of people who were who were declared as terrorists by uh, one alien race declared as terrorists by another alien race, right? Yeah. So the alien race was trying to get these terrorists, and it turned out that all along the terrorists were just trying to survive, yeah. and the alien race that was trying to kill them were the actual bad guys yeah. all along, right? If that's not a story about the United States of America, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what, right? But for some reason, the conversation about the movie was all about the gender politics yeah. of it, not about the absolutely plain as day obvious... Yeah, the allegory for American... It yeah. was international politics, like... It was yeah. clear that it was there. Um, and it didn't take much to, to notice it, right? It wasn't yeah. exactly, like, hidden. Um, well, it's a Marvel movie, like... But it, but it, had, it, had, it had that in it. Yeah. But what everybody talked about was... That had a girl character, yeah. as if they were trying to distract from it or something. Yeah. I don't know, but it was, uh, but it was bizarre. Oh, to I, me I, I think more than talk. anything else, they messed their timeline up, and it was the one that had to suffer for it. So they needed it to be just hype enough, but not so hype as to detract from Infinity War slash Endgame. Do you know what I mean? Like, and then they so, left her out of it anyway. <laughs> and, and then she shows up at the end for five minutes. And again, I always say, She's like, girl, Superman, yeah. she and could you, have ended the whole thing herself. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I mean. That's, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't like that as a character, right? That's yeah. not a fun character when you yeah. got, when you got a when you got a, a, an indestructible character. It's not as much fun as one that could yeah. die. It's just, but that's just how it should be. Oh, look, I I wonder if, if I don't know if you've been watching One Division or whatever it's called. No, no, I haven't. Um, I have, there's no reason why not. It's I, just I want to see. Yeah, yeah, I want to see if yeah. they commit to that bit that they're going for. The whole she's so strong she can kind of bend reality kind of thing because that's that's what they're kind of aiming, tilting towards that. That's no spoilers. That's been pretty clear since the start, right? Um, and if they do that, that's how they set up their multiverse. And that's a unique way to do it. To me, I would give them more credit if they actually play it out the way that it looks like. But I have low hopes for Mandalorian Season 3. There is no way the Disney machine doesn't say, yes, no holy thing. crap, how much money are we making off this? Like, you single-handedly saved the franchise? Well, let me just take that off your hands and fix it further? Like They were going that way because they added baby noises to Yoda in Season 2. But Yoda in Season 1 didn't... I don't even think he made a noise, right? Mm. And baby Yoda in Season 2 suddenly was making goo 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 Yeah, noises. what the fuck? It, it's not actually a baby. But, you know, because they got on Facebook Jerry and Poppin. seen... <laughs> Facebook has seen all the, the uh, middle-aged women Ch- getting yeah. excited. And the, the first words will be chicken nuggies. I, yeah. yeah, I am shocked that he didn't order chicken nuggies in the show. <laughs> or Jesus product Christ. placement. Yeah. There's product placement. Chalky Moo Moo juice. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, I want the, the L- L- Luke Skywalker brand blue titty milk. Yeah, but it's not blue. It's chalky Moo Moo yeah, juice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but the, the fans made up almost their own mythology yeah. like about it. Um, and, and, and Disney, because Disney was at the time so adamant that Ray and, and that, that Skywalker bullshit would be the thing. Mm. They, they weren't even paying any attention to it. Then when they started, you could see Baby Yoda getting worse. Now, I personally love the end of Baby Yoda Season 2. Yeah. I thought I thought it was a really nice touch. Um, but yeah, without without Baby Yoda in Season 3, what is it? Anyway, it's, it would become another movie. He, he'll, uh, <laughs> he'll, he'll, again, he'll, he'll very quickly pick him back up. Don't worry about it. Like it'll, well, they'll have to because yeah. otherwise nobody's going to watch it. Yeah. it. Nobody's watching it for the Mandalorian. Yeah, <laughs> as much as all. Well, I, 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 I have I have a theory on what will happen. I'll tell you off air. Like on, okay. on what happened at the start of season three. As much as all the all the ladies are, are obsessed with Pedro Pascal at the yeah. moment, it's only because he's that dad figure with Baby Yoda, right? If, if he didn't have Baby Yoda, he, like people like him. He was Oberon. He was Oberon in fucking Game of Thrones. I, the Game of Thrones, I lost interest after season three because oh, it okay. got just so dumb. And oh, they that ghost, five. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. ghost baby, the wind, kill, you know, you, that's that's where I started going. What the fuck is right? You've made a ghost. Had you, had you said, did you watch a unstoppable the ghost baby? And you don't send it after the person you want to kill. You send it after someone else who you want the army to take to go kill the person. You want to kill. Send the ghost baby after the person you hate. Send the ghost baby after the person you hate. That's uh, series over. You don't even yeah, series well, nine. Well, wait, wait, what, what are you like? That's some Republican nonsense. Send the ghost baby after the people you hate. That's, <laughs> it. that's some. That's some. That's some Biden satanic Catholic shit right there. What? I remember John Stewart did a thing once where you do all these uh, conspiracy theories about how all the stuff's linked to the media, linked to the Democrats. He's doing all these big graph and all these lines everywhere. And he goes, now I'm going to do one for Fox News and Republicans. He draws a box, says Fox News, he draws a box, says Republicans. And I'm just, just goes, narrow. <laughs> 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 no, but, they, sorry, they, Game of Thrones I gave up on. So yeah. Pedro Pascal was in Game of Thrones. I, I've watched the first three seasons. Yeah, he was... Cause, you know, I watched the three seasons and lost interest. You would have seen the mountain, you would have seen the memes, all right? 
Yeah, I was interested yeah. in that. So you know the mountain pushes the guy's eyes in. You've probably seen that. I don't think I'll get to that point. Oh, well, that, that's a meme. I know about you, it. Yeah. Well, that's what happened. But that's uh, Pedro Pascal. Oh, really? Yeah, so mountain is Hathor. Uh, and Oberon was the guy he did it to. Because oh, Oberon yeah, thinks he's okay. killed him. And he's like, ha, ha, aren't I great? And fucking Mountain gets up and goes, no. Yeah, well, that's dumb. Yeah. You don't do that. And that's that's yeah, a you, little... you stab until they stop moving. That's that's advice number one. Yeah, that's also a lesson for uh, anybody in, who who's in Cobra Kai. Yeah. <laughs> oh. you finish Spoiler it, Zonga. You finish it. You, yes, you can have mercy. But in that situation, you finish it yeah. at that point in time. Because it won't end if you don't. But anyway, that's... Uh, yeah, what are we talking about? Oh, <laughs> Games. <yeah, what's> <laughs> okay, um, AMD CEO, uh, get off Baby Yoda. Uh, AMD CEO says pr- the production, uh, he, in the words, some tightness. We'll have some tightness in the first six months of 2021. Um, sounds like production of, of the uh, GPUs and CPUs using the, using For consoles, the Xbox, yeah. Xbox Series S, X and S. I still call it an Xbox. Xbox and the PS5. Um, I think AMD supplies both. They do. Have we got it right? Yeah. Um, yeah, so. so Production of the PS5 has apparently been ramped up, uh, but apologies, still, I got hiccups. By the it's way, it's still so going to yeah. be tight. Uh, you need a fright. No, um, try and scare me. I didn't, bring, <laughs> I didn't bring that Trump pen that talks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, this <laughs> um, is the best trade. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so, so uh, he's been quiet for a while. Um, so yeah, so um, so yeah, uh, basically, console production is still going to be a little bit tight for the first six months of twenty twenty one. It's it's probably residual from all the coronavirus stuff. Yeah. And, and and as I said earlier, I, I'm not personally convinced. It's yeah. Like that. Um, it's well, funny, I mean, funny how reporters went back into China and suddenly had cases again. Wasn't that weird? They had no cases after they kicked all the reporters out. They said, oh, we fixed it. And then the, the people go in to do the investigation yeah. for the WHA. Well, Suddenly they go, oh, we've got cases again out of nowhere. Isn't that I, weird? I, 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 like, my, 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 my thing is always like... you can't like, trust China, who can you trust? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, like, as, as, much, as, as much as America cocked up more than anything, it's like I wouldn't be taking the uh, Chinese figures. It's like, you know, I'm the biggest weed there is. I wouldn't be trusting Japanese figures because it's in their best interest to make it seem like they don't have any cases. This, this is another big thing that's happened in the last four years that people need to grow up about, right? Yeah. Sometimes there's no good guy in yeah. right. Right now, now I can watch I can watch footy, and when Collingwood and Essendon are playing, <laughs> right, there's no good guy. As long as they're Matthew both, Lloyd got knocked out, you'd never. They're care both what evil. Yeah. All I want is shitloads of injuries. Yeah. So when my team plays them, it's easier, right? Yeah. Um, but people have to get off this immature idea that there's a good and a bad. Yeah. So oh, China and America are disagreeing. Trump and someone are disagreeing, right? It doesn't automatically make. One of them good and yeah. the other bad. They can both be bad. Have you, have you seen this? I mean, you're, yeah, you want to go political. Like, China's pulling that stuff in the South China Sea already, um, trying to see what Biden's It's a test to, to see what, see what it's, it's, it's a, it's um, a medal. Yeah. And see if they get a return on the investment for the money they give. <laughs> oh, oh now, welcome to QAnon cast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, uh, no, look, there's, there's just. There's this, this is recorded on Hunter Biden's spare laptop, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, with all the kitty porn? <laughs> yeah, oof. <laughs> Do you mean all the cheese pizza? Like, yeah. <laughs> hey, look, look, look. Uh, look, seriously though, if you go back to those Podesta emails and you, you cannot read them without substituting in the pedo code words. Yeah, I know. They don't I make know. sense. They're, now, now I'm not a, I did a thing on the show calling Q and on a LARP yeah. like three years ago or whatever it was, right? Remember, I said yeah, yeah. you was LARPing, right? But this, it's a bit like with, you know, anyone that tries to claim there's no ritual child abuse. Well, yeah, there was. There's a church. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something's happening, yeah. but at the moment, everybody's got it wrong because everybody thinks it's the people they like are good and the people they don't yeah. like are the ones doing it. They, yeah, it's not galaxy brain to say there's a possibility there's scumbags that, in the world, that yeah. everybody you like are scumbags as well. Yeah. That's, and especially in politics. Well, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was always a thing where people were like, well, what if Bill Clinton's involved with Epstein? And everyone's like, cool, arrest him too. Like, what's, I don't understand. Like, yeah, it's yeah. Not, that's not a gotcha. You know what I mean? People like, go, yeah, well, that was why, that was why Epstein, and that's, and that's really frustrating. I get frustrated with this idea there's good evidence. It's George Bush style bull. Bullshit, yeah, right? yeah. Um, the good versus evil, right? We don't do politics on the show, by the this way. This is why Epstein never got uh, probably done because um, Trump was with him and Clinton was with him. Yeah. So neither side wanted to go hard because yeah. it was going to hurt one of their own. And that was so incredibly frustrating because, as far as I'm concerned, burn them all down. Yeah, yeah. Because it, what was going on was so ridiculous and I, I, I would argue that was one thing I did see I never saw someone say oh if Trump's doing it take him I never saw that all I ever saw was 
well, Clinton's involved too. It's like, cool, well, then burn him to the stake. I, I don't understand. Like, no one is going to say, spare Bill Clinton because we don't want to take down pedos. No one is saying that. But then, but then when, when you've got this idea that your side, it's when it's a team sport, yeah. your side, you don't want you don't want the umpire to do anything that affects both of you. You only want the umpire to Everyone hates Goldspin anyway, so it's fine. Goldspin, well, he played for Essendon. He, was he did play for Essendon. He, 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 tw- he was the 22nd jersey for Essendon. Yeah, he was, yeah. He was in Essendon's team of the century. Yeah, um, I, 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 yeah. One of the it was always one of those players. things. That's how you knew the James Heard ball sat at a certain height because Goldspink would always lift them up when he had the chance. Like <laughs> I remember the AFL was talking about letting the um, letting the umpire like uh, if the ball went out of bounds just like hand the ball to a player and let them play on. Although well, let's go Goldspink's going to be handing it to Heard like 20 times a game. Just literally just grabbing <laughs> off people <laughs> in hand. Yeah. His stats are going to go massively for Dream Team. Um, hey uh, let's do another game news thing. <laughs> Netflix uh, Netflix is releasing an animated Tomb Raider series. Yes, Netflix are doing that. quite a few game related yeah, uh, animated you know, series. They've got The Witcher season two should be soon. <laughs> yeah. Um they'll have Tomb Raider. Um there's still talks they're doing a Zelda, there's still talks they're doing a Mario. It's what's his name? Oh, that guy, I can't stand him. That that's you gotta be you gotta be more specific. <laughs> he did that stupid power ranger yeah, thing. He did. did uh, oh, it starts with a. I can't remember his goddamn name. A guy I don't like. Well, oh, that's yeah, like yeah, narrowed yeah, it down yeah, to yeah. seven billion people, um, Jason. <laughs> you gotta Google that. You gotta actually use the one you don't series. like to find out who yeah. the one you don't like is. Uh, well, I use a cozy because they plant trees. I have watched Jordy. Ah, um, nice. Okay, there you go. Yeah. So. Uh, I, 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 I cop flack for watching Geordie, but yeah, uh, yeah, because because um, because the party that's that's been uh, in existence uh, mostly due to racism has been able to successfully call Geordies yeah. a racist for exposing their corruption. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's not. An, it's, they don't balance up. <laughs> it's it's amazing. I, I just can't believe. Uh, that Adi Shenka. Uh, I hate him. He uh, he's the least creative person in Hollywood, and that's saying something. Oh, really? It's all a fucking cesspit. But yeah, uh, Adi Shenkar, uh, he did Castlevania, and he's a grunt, and yeah, I'm not a big fan. I like Castlevania. I never watched Castlevania. Castlevania was good. I was uh, like Castlevania it. was good. Yeah, it was very good. And he but Oz was always in all like Castlevania. Well, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's not exactly the same. <laughs> could have been a blank screen. Yeah, it was literally, yeah. He would have got it. It's like, oh, a bell. And then Simon <laughs> Belmont, the name of these. Wow. Yeah. All right. That was another game I wasn't allowed to use a controller on. Yeah. It was like it was like I was playing with my big brother. Older brother, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, you have the one with that. It does not plug it's in. It's not plugged in, yeah. Joe's you know, like, hold up. And, yeah. and Oz is doing the whole stream. Problem was, when he did the stream, he didn't talk. Yeah, yeah. So I'd have to go back. I'm a, shock, I'm a shocker <laughs> like that, yeah. I, I get try Uh What was I saying? Hey, okay, the Tomb, Ra- Tomb Raider, uh, if it's based on the modern Tomb Raider, the modern three Tomb Raider games are, are fantastic. And, and they, they, I mean, uh, the, uh, they, the they kind of outgrew, okay. outgrew Bash Up Lara Croft, which was the first one for sure. The first one was Let's Bash Lara Croft. And then the other two, you know, doing the questioning of sanity kind of thing. Oh, yeah, I but, hate how they played that. Like, but but it, I, this is... It, there's another thing I notice in corporate Kai, right? We're still we're still touchy about women getting hurt, even in games. Yeah, yeah. You know? I like but, that. but you know what? If you play a game like Lara Croft killed like ten thousand men yeah. in that game, and you, you didn't think twice, right? Yeah. But but a few times Lara got hurt or or you know, killed, and even one of the developers said you'll you'll the driving force of the game is I think it was something like that at the time will be the save Lara Croft yeah. right and I thought and everyone like complained. I thought yeah, but but we're still stuck there. Yeah. We're still stuck there where. We're not as comfortable with that happening as we are. You get to play as a male character, yeah. and he can get like smashed up all game, and it doesn't bother. Yeah. And, and sure, and, you know, it shouldn't because it's a game, right? But with Lara Croft, yeah, a lot of people were sort of like bothered by that. And, oh, and I, was, just, I was never bothered, but it was just definitely it, like yeah. But, but but it was it was a thing, right? Yeah, and, for sure. Um, yeah. Uh, which is weird because we haven't. If if we want to talk about having female leads in games, they're gonna get smashed up. Yeah, they're gonna get killed. They're gonna get hurt. They, yeah, because they have to. Because yeah. otherwise, what? It's not an interesting game. If yeah, there's no and, and, and I don't think they like they didn't marry Sewer. They didn't make her this vote. Like, no, it was fantastically yeah. done. Yeah. Her her progress, at least in the first game, right? Her progress because that, that was her yeah. when she came off the and ship. She, and she had to right? seal it with a seal her wound up and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Like, her yeah. progress from. From preppy, no, she wasn't hunt, really yeah. girly girl, but yeah, from girl to to being the Lara Croft that everybody knew, yeah. um, w- was really well done mm. because it was done as she just coped with everything that happened. Yeah. She got better with everything that happened, and, and I remember playing. I thought this is really good. Yeah, she didn't. Just and for once, I didn't advance it with um, sexual assault. 
That was nice as well. There were people who claimed that there was a, in the first Lara Croft claim, there was a rape scene, but I think they were referring to the one where the guy's trying to grab and it. And grab it through the And wall, I thought yeah. that was a bit of a leap because I, I don't I agree. You can't say that. With, you can't say definitively. I think it was because he had, remember, he has her in that, that kind of sleeper hold almost. Yeah. And then she, like, you know, points him in the right direction. Yeah, but, um, but, yeah. but um, if you do that to, to um, who's a guy in Uncharted, say? Um, Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake, you're not going to think that he's going to get raped. It's like, and I know there's. Well, no, it's not an alien sequel, so. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> I, know, I know it's different. I know it's. Um, I know it's different. It's like I, I, I don't want to oversimplify what, 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 what a what a podcast we've got at the moment. We've covered child pornography and <laughs> rape and all these wonderful topics. I don't, I don't want to oversimplify it, but if you're going to say let's do it on the same footing, it has to be on the same footing. Yeah. That, that's what I'm getting at. But I, but I, I would say, but that that is that is kind of the argument is that. Until this point, it's usually been infantilized, or it's usually been fetishized, if you will. And I yeah, agree yeah. with you. I don't. Th- I, I think, I, like people would argue that Tomb Raider is, and I don't think it is. Um, but uh, at the same Dude, time, did the original was, game set out to be? Because they were working with the polygons and the system they had. That was they screwed up, and they put the, the numbers in wrong. That's why boobs were so big. I, well, they weren't like massive, right? They, 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 they were they were just pointy boobs, right? They were not noticeable. Yeah, not noticeable. Um, but but was was that was that like something the because de- I, I don't know the answer for sure. Was that something the developers were intending as the hook for Lara Croft, or was that a rumor? Rumor has they put the numbers in wrong. So when they were putting the polygons, like they added too many polygons. So she's like front. a creeper. An accident, I guess. Um, yeah, but but all see so the stuff that all came around it, like you know, you know, he used the one handed controller, he play the two handed one hand. Was that just a? That was, that of, was, that, I mean, that would be a Sony marketing that, campaign, I reckon. That's where like, I'm going. Yeah. Did did that become the way they decided they're going? Oh, we've got this game that's actually really good because Tomb Raider was a good game. The original one was was a good game. Yeah. Well, it was unique time. at the time for sure. Yeah. Like yeah, um, and the and the the remake of it is 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 really good. Yeah. Um, thoroughly guaranteed. I would argue even some of the later games in the first series before the reboot were passable. It was just two, three, four, five. Just played up the she's the big titty James Bond, and I'm like, well, no one really the, wants that. That's what like, I wanted. Yeah. Was, did the devs want to go that way, or was that yeah? Was that the marketing? Was, yeah, yeah. It's always and, cynical marketing, and, and and that was part of at the time the video game media was was in on that yeah. as well because they were doing. I remember what, what what's your next story? Because I've got a good segue from this one. Uh, next story. I don't know if we have time because we're going to have to jump on a big one. Uh, it's about Konami. We'll skip that because because you had one. You had one. Microsoft. One there's one. rumors again. Microsoft will be buying another big thing, announcing in the next month or two. Okay. Um, and it's been backed by the guy who backed the original Bethesda rumor. Um, so it's got people who half know what they're talking so about. So you're telling me that Mar- the, the rumour is good, it is take it to the stonk market, <laughs> that, that uh, Microsoft is is buying another developer. Yes, so my argument is, like I've said for ages, I still think it's we Sega. We can rewind every I still think it's Sega, Sega anyway. So if it's from the East, I think it's Sega. We have evidence you the, said that. The, the dark horse is Konami. Uh, the dark horse is Konami for my money. I think if it's a Western developer, it's EDOS. It's former Square Enix. It's Tomb Raider yeah. and all that. Because remember Tomb Raider, the oh, last Tomb Raider... We spoke about that. Yeah. yeah, because they have properties. Look, Tomb Raider is an awesome property, that, right? That, yeah. And, but I don't think Tomb Raider has been worked enough. Yep. Um, they got Deus Ex. Deus Ex, oh, look, okay, maybe it's died off a bit, but we were talking a few months back. Yeah. I just feel that the conspiracy-oriented game... Is there's a there's a uh, there's an audience? Yeah. Well, hey, that's what that's what Perfect Dark is now. You write a QAnon game and you're going to get seventy million sales. Yeah, <laughs> you're guaranteed. Well, let's make a game about how there's a Huge, global elite yeah. ped- pedophile ring yeah. that's and and the and the president has been chosen by the military to take down the pedophile ring and, and yeah. And it, tu- it, it turns seventy out million buyers t- right t- there. T- it turns out the Trump was the false flag. Yeah, it's, yeah. Ah, uh, no, the, the latest QAnon is trying to claim that um, Biden's actually the Biden's now the uh, whatever they they, they they shift and change the feeds. It's, it's Bullshit. Watch the uh, honest government ads thing about QAnon. That's probably the most accurate. Yeah, yeah. I think. All. Um, and BD and on's gone missing. He must have gone time traveling again. Um, he was fun for a while, but he was telling us for a while that the Chinese dam, the Three Gorges Dam, was going to collapse any day now. And he he pulled that out for about three months. <laughs> he, had, he had pictures of the dam bending. He reckoned. And, and look, I look, I love reading this stuff, but I know it's bullshit. <laughs> but but conspiracy games. Sorry, Deus Ex. Deus Ex was a, a more intelligent conspiracy, yeah. right? It was a far more intelligent intelligent thing that but I think there's a market for that conspiracy well yeah let's say Perfect Dark is then you Perfect yeah, Dark Perfect is that, Dark so, yeah. Well, yep. on, this, on the EDOS thing there was one other big property they have 
Um, Marvel Avengers. Oh, Just Cause. Just Cause, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Just Cause, which is just a fun, just piss fight around, yeah. just do stupid shit. It, it's, it's like... Um, a, like I said, I'm pretty sure Tomb Raider, one of the Tomb Raiders and one of the Just Cause has got exclusive content slash early release on Xboxes anyway, so there's already that existing relationship and Square Enix will be keen to ship off that particular debt now that Marvel's made no money, so... So, if, so far. If they, if, they, if they can turn around to Microsoft and say, hey, give us $2 billion for them, I'm sure they'll get it, so... Look, there, there's, there's four... Good franchises there, yeah. like, and 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 I think with Deus Ex and um, and Tomb Raider especially underutilized. Yeah. I, I think they could be really worth. Well, I mean, that, another the other Microsoft rumor is that you know there's another Old Republic game coming that they've they've said is another RPG coming in the Old Republic world, and the rumor is that that is go, is um, uh, Obsidian from uh, with Microsoft, so. Plenty of room for rumors. It's a Star Wars game. Yeah, Star Wars game. Because we know Ubisoft is oh, doing a Star Wars game. Coda yeah. game. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. Look, I'm not as into the Star Wars stuff yeah, as many no, people because I think it's really, a bullshit yeah. thing. But but Star Wars games are way better than movies. Yes, for sure. They're way better. For sure. Way, Way, I've been for a better. long time. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. Cool. I'm. Uh, Let's do it. Let's talk about it. it. Let's go. No, we got twenty minutes. I've been a blank page here. Well. Stonks! Yeah. <laughs> Are we going stonks? Uh, how much background would we would want to do? I, I mean, I, um, do you want to explain? I, I can do the whole situation if you want. Well, let's, let's go to background. Okay. Uh, basically, uh, this is, this is a, basically, what happened is, uh, I can't remember the time frame, but we were talking about The Big Short earlier. And if anyone hasn't watched The Big Short, run out and watch it straight after this podcast. The Big Short is, is great. And then watch Vice, yeah. uh, unrelated. But Vo- those two movies will tell you everything. Uh, why everything's so fucked up now, uh, politically and economically. Anyway, so Big Short and Vice. But in Big Short, there's a guy, Michael Burry, I think yes. it was. Uh, wildly autistic uh, dude who's a genius at analysing data and finding things in financial yep. markets. And he was one of the guys in the Big Short who discovered that the housing market was screwed and nobody else was really It was being it. shorted. So basically, shorted. What, what was happening well, it, was, it, yeah. it, it wasn't so much being shorted. He then decided to short it. Yep. And, so, and now, this is where we're getting to short. Now, he's... He, Shorting is where you borrow some shares, borrow in quotes, yeah. some shares. I don't know how that works. I know you're yeah. from, but you borrow shares. So I used to, I used to actually uh, work in ANZ Treasury on yeah. uh, futures trading, yeah. right? So it's like Which is very similar, yeah, 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 similar, but you don't borrow like stuff. No, you, but you, so, so you have, with, you have with, to actually with it's futures, an agreement to borrow. Yeah, with with, with futures, day. you're gambling on something coming down the line in six months and costing less. It's only a commodity yeah. that you're going to need. Um, uh, yeah, so. <clears throat> um, it, Yes, Seffi. Uh, it, yeah, it's normally the commodities that now, oh, I used to do a lot of work with that when I was in yes. corporate aims at Treasury. But the, the shorting uh, shares is, is similar. But you apparently borrow the shares, and then you say, "I'll give you the shares back at a certain date." Yeah. So right. I'm, I'm going to borrow. I'm going to borrow ten shares from you, and I'll give them back to you in a week. I sell yeah. them right now for five bucks each, right? Because I'm guessing that just before I have to sell them back to you, they're going to be two bucks each or three bucks each, right? So I can scoop them back up, and I can sell them back to you. I give them back to you. I sold them for what five dollars each. So I made yep. fifty bucks at the start. I've bought them back now for thirty bucks. I just made twenty bucks. That's a shorting. And you, yeah, and you pocket the profit from that. Yep. Now, now it's 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 a bizarre thing to do. Um, basically, and I think you go the other way with it as well. But say basically, borrow short and borrow borrow shares and give them back later, and then you sell them now at the price and buy yep. them back just before you give them back. Yeah, and, and when, when the, the price is lower and you pocket the difference. Now, what what happened, that and what happens is hedge funds are down. Now, if hedge funds, hedge funds are basically a bunch of rich people, they're normally backed by, uh, backed by banks and stuff yep. like that, and they basically gamble on that. So so they're saying, we reckon this year is going to go up or down, we can, we're going to do these sorts of yep. deals. Um, or, or, we, or we can make it tank, and therefore, like by, by, by shorting it to a certain amount, we can we can make it look like there's less faith in that share than there is, and, and bring that is, price lower. And this is something that absolutely happens all um, the time. And because what they can do then is they can see to because the the hedge funds in that area, and they've got media partners effectively, yeah. and they're the financial reporters and stuff. They can seed stories about how, yeah. how companies are going bad, so they can actually help drive the price down. Um, and sometimes they do it maliciously. And in fact, Tesla was one that was targeted by hedge yes. funds about two years ago, and that's why if you hear Elon Musk's name in the in the game stonk stuff, then that's why he has a grudge with them. And yeah. fair, and fair enough too, because but that was when he got kicked off the board. Remember? Yeah, and because they see this thing, the share is the share market is supposed to be. 
the value of the company and it's the idea is the original idea was if you want to raise funds you go to the share market your company's valued at this much yeah. and you just say i'm going to sell a share in the company at this right yeah. and if your company in, goes in, up instead or down, of going to some angel investor and saying can you front me a hundred million dollars you're like we can find that hundred million dollars from well, people well, that believe in our vision and you sell it to we'll them. offer 10 million shares at ten ten dollars each and, and 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 that's that's basically used to to work out the valuation yeah. of the company and then but the share market doesn't quite work like that anymore yeah. and the shorters the people are shorting are playing another game they're basically gambling on that yeah. so as your share price shares get traded based on what the performance of the company was and there's dividends that will get paid and stuff like that there's there's a lot of other factors involved but that's the basics of yeah. it and how the share market and the shorting works okay now so <coughs> GameStop so a hedge fund now this Michael Burry had worked out I think I've got his name right. He had worked out that, uh, he goes through all the data, that a hedge fund had shorted 140% of GameStop yes. shares. Now, how you can short 140% of shares, you can't give back 140% yeah, of something. Exactly, right? yeah. Um, so they've been playing games, and, and no doubt, I don't. this is an area that gets out of my expertise, but no doubt, as in the big short, there were financial instruments on top of that yeah. as well. So there were there were what, what they call them sim- synthetic yeah. um, uh, CDOs in that, but they'll be sin- synthetic financial instruments. Yeah. Um, uh, agreements on it. So anyway, so he worked that out, and and he he thought, well, they're exposed because GameStop may not go down that much. And he bought, and I have a theory what he was doing by the way. And he bought, I think, three percent of GameStop. Yes. Now people on 13%, Reddit, wasn't it? I, everyone, yeah, some of that. And so but anyway, he bought, he bought, he you can't buy the whole lot, obviously, yeah. because the shares aren't always for sale. That's why you have a takeover offer at a certain price per share, and that goes to market because you can't just buy all the shares yeah. because the sellers have to be willing to sell, and some yeah. don't. Anyway, so so he bought he bought a significant amount for what you can do just yeah. buying shares. Now there's a group on Reddit called Wall Street Bets, yeah. and it had it had about two million people on it at the time. It's now up to about three point three million, and yeah. probably growing. And, and they, because he's relatively famous now after the big short, they saw that and they went, what's going on? And they've, they've seen the same thing. And so... Well, yeah, so, so a guy called Deep Fucking Value from... That yeah, was his name. <laughs> it is funny, the and, name. Yeah, and, and that was from a year ago. He's, he identified, he was one of the people identified and bought in. So he yeah. bought in and that was when it was at $4, $4, $5 a share or something like that. He bought in then... Um, and based on reading like like Brewery said and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. about that all same time, all these people started noticing it and, and Brewery's was the biggest voice to come out and say, hey, there's something going on here. And Wall Street Bets got behind it as a result because Wall Street Bets has always been the joke of the internet. It's like, oh, they're, they're taking their tendy money and putting it on like on the, the Wall Street instead of paying their rent kind of thing. And that was always the joke of it. Was but, like, no, yeah. look, no, no doubt there's some serious... Now, I remember when I was at ANZ, I used to go to meetings with uh, like small-time futures traders. So it was yeah. just people who worked there and they would just put all their money into into that and then they'd sell early and stuff like that. So, and you know there's day traders in share markets. Yeah. So there, there's little communities around. They're not big players, but they do this stuff. And Wall Street's bets would be full of them. Yeah. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> so... So what you've got there is you've got a whole heap of people, and, and that's caught on with yep. all the people on on Wall Street Bets. Now the other the other factor in there is there's, there's a platform called Robinhood, which yes. allowed you to, for as far as I know, zero commission to trade shares. Yes. So and uh, and, and if you if you got enough standing and enough thing, you could borrow on margin as well, which is an important thing that comes up later. Which means that you could borrow without put it. In, you could borrow. I want to buy a thousand dollars worth of GameStop shares, but you didn't have to have a thousand dollars. You could buy on margin. Yeah, and if the share price changes, you may have a call on that, yes. a margin call, as they call it, and you have to pay back in, in instantly, basically, yeah. these shares. Okay, and now that snowballed yes. over, over a period of time to a point where, I, I don't know exactly how many, but a lot of the people on Wall Street Bets <coughs> have GameStop shares. Now, <coughs> this has turned into uh, the hedge fund that needs to give those shares back Merlin now Capital. Yeah. can't get them for the price they thought. Yeah. They were expecting to be able to, as Jason ex- described at the start of this uh, segment, they were expecting to be able to buy them back cheap yeah. and then pocket the difference. Problem was, because people were buying them, they can't buy them back at, at a reduced price. Now, think about shorting. Your losses Your losses are what mo- money you put in. Yeah. Uh, sorry, you, you're, you, I've, I've done that wrong. Sorry, take that back, right? You're, if you go and buy uh, some shares, right, <clears throat> and you buy five hundred dollars shares, and that tanks. You lose your five hundred dollars. Yes. Right? So I uh, explain it wrong. If you go and short shares, your losses are infinite, are potentially infinite. Yes. Because 
you you have to go and get those shares at whatever price the market will sell them. Especially to. if you get a margin call or if you get a like a call yes. to pay that in straight in like ASAP. And they do have that. They have it's part of the agreements. They have to pay because because what happens is the companies that deal with each other with the hedge funds and that they they're always wary of what happens if the hedge fund goes under. Yeah. So we want monthly or weekly um, yeah. amounts paid based on the current valuation of everything. Right. Yeah. So that happens. So anyway, so so your losses can be infinite. So so this is great. Now this has turned into I don't know whether it started like this or it turned into. Uh, this has turned into a movement where the people holding the shares have seen that it's going to cause problems with the hedge fund. The hedge fund uh, it will be in massive financial difficulty, and a lot of people have seen that and said, you know what. Let's get these back people back, hedge funds being just a general term, because it won't be exactly the same hedge yeah. funds, but there is a link with this one. Let's get the hedge funds back for the problems they caused during the global financial crisis. They were, they were the big ones that caused it. Let's so, get so, the- so let's keep in mind, we're not talking they bought it for 5 bucks <coughs> a share and now they're worth 10 bucks a share. Well, they were 5 $6 a share. It's now three what $350, $400 it got to at the peak. Um, Amusingly, being the internet, a lot of people put their sell price apparently at 420 Of course they <laughs> did. That's how it works. So, um, so yeah. Uh, um, and, and so that's like uh, like 20 yeah, that's way more. Anyway, it's, it's a lot. It's a big difference. Now, it's nearly, like nearly 100 times. 100, yeah, okay. It's, this is, and, and the hedge fund needs it back. Now, uh, the hedge fund... Uh, is now out of pocket billions of dollars, yes. effectively, and that's the upshot. And a lot of people are very excited. And this is where it comes it turns into game stocks, and it becomes more than just a story about a hedge fund not being able to get yeah. shares back. This has turned into effectively Occupy Wall Street version two, yes, and one that's actually having an impact because if you look at any of the news coverage from the financial networks, they are seriously butthurt. Yes. Because I've seen a lot of a lot of numbers on how much the hedge fund has lost so far. And this will be this will be covering because because the people I did the deal with, they'll be saying, We reckon you're gonna go bankrupt. We want a certain amount back now. Yeah, and the yeah. certain amount we want back now is based on the current share price. It's not based on what our agreement was or anything. Yeah. We we want it back based on that. And so they're hemorrhaging money. Yeah. And so they had to take out a two point seven five billion dollar loan. Yeah, they got an injection of yep. yeah. Um they reckon the losses could be massive because as we as was as was done in the big short with the housing market, there are other financial products on top of yeah. Uh, these hedge funds won. So, and, and these are all backed by banks and they could lose a lot of money. And some of the numbers you see, you see 17 million, 70, 17 billion, 70 billion are massive. Um, but what you've got is you've got a bunch of people on Reddit now are saying effectively, publicly... Hold the line. Hold the line. Uh, to the moons, they're saying, yeah. uh, basically, fuck you, hedge funds. Yeah. We're getting you back. We are causing you pain because of what you did in 2008. And like I said, they're not the same ones, but there is a link. Um and there, and this, and at the moment, they're they're not planning to sell. Most of them are not yeah. planning to sell to make it really make the hedge fund really hurt. Yeah. And and it's the internet, the internet I say generally, but it's it's a, it's a, an interesting move on the internet that took on this 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 uh, thing of basically they want to hurt them now. Yeah. And and they will do anything to hurt them. And in fact, there's stories that that group now that are behind it are looking at other hedge funds yes. that expose ridiculous. Short so decisions. so that's where they're talking about Nokia, AMC, <clears throat> all these companies that are looking at declining industries quote unquote um and starting to buy into them now and so you're seeing that a lot of them are buying up like anyone that was shorting it just buying up positions so just buying them up just giving them back like they're 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 backing out of it really quick but the big one i think it was you who shared it was about robin hood the reason robin hood suspended trade now robin robin hood was the share platform they were using yes. robin hood suddenly now this is where the uh the see the one percent the hedge funds the rich people they don't like losing money yeah we're all allowed to play in the share market but we're not allowed to make money yeah. we're we're allowed to make a certain amount but the house always wins as they yeah, say yeah. they're the house right um so yeah so robin hood stopped people buying those yes. shares particular shares which is which is interesting because there'll be other people out there that were genuine investors that that had nothing to do with this <laughs> that are suddenly finding that there's also rumors i don't know how true they are that people had found their shares have been forcibly sold anything that was bought on margin was being sold yeah so so basically and that was to, said to protect them and yeah. now robert hood turns out that it has the clearing house i think i may be wrong on this yeah. Is basically uh, the the hedge fund. Yeah, Cap- Capital <laughs> Investments <laughs> owns Melvin Capital, and they also fl- floated Robinhood. And Robinhood stopped it basically because, at the point that they were getting to, with the amount that it was spiraling out of control, 
It was literally at the point where there was not enough money in the stock market whatsoever. Once the banks had to pay out, once all of the trading houses had to pay out, there was not enough liquidity in the market full stop to pay that back. It wasn't a matter of Melvin Capital didn't have enough, there wasn't enough in GameStop. The market did So that means you're talking trillions. You're into T then. You know what I mean? Like, And there have been stories that this could be another big meltdown. Yeah. And Okay, now here's the thing. <clears throat> I'm going to go with wild theories. Yes. Okay? Okay, uh, that, that kind of wraps up. I think we summarised that. Yeah. And and and, and un- understand though, understand that to a lot of these people, this is about revenge. Yeah. And and you know, so what? many people have said, do not care if they lose. They whatever. Yeah. Like, and people have said, oh well, we are buying a few shares and losing money on GameStop's yeah. dumb. No, these people have a vendetta. They are out to get them. And you know what? Good on them. Keep, keep in Fuck mind. Them. So part of that margin call, the original call that uh, Melvin had to make. So Mr. Deep Fucking Value made thirty three million. He put fifteen aside straight away. The rest of it he put straight back into GameStop yeah. like shares. So oh, they're, they're all contributing to it. There's people with like three hundred dollars worth of shares and they're saying, I don't care if I lose three hundred dollars. Yeah. But we're talking there was like two million people in, in uh Wall Street Bets. Yeah. Right. So yeah, there'd be a lot of them and yeah, they're two or three hundred dollars worth of shares and yeah. they don't care. And I've they buy one share each, yeah. I wouldn't either. I couldn't care. For the damage being caused, I would just be laughing. Like, the yeah. memes are fantastic. Okay, here's the thing. And this is where I'm going to go with a conspiracy theory. And I haven't seen this anywhere. Um, if you have, Here we don't, go. don't tell me. Where, where's the tinfoil? We'll get the other Get ready, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Senior advisor for is it the, the hedge fund yeah. is Ben Bernanke. Yeah. Head of the Federal Reserve back in 2008. During today it was Ben right? Bernanke, yeah. One of the architects of the bailout. Yeah. Right? Okay. Burry. He kicked this off. Yeah. Right? After after the global financial crisis happened, he tried to talk to Congress and that yeah. to, to help him understand how it happened and avoid it happening again. He ended up being audited four times, yeah. and the FBI questioned him not about what, how, how he noticed the housing market was stuff. They questioned about other stuff. They just basically harassed him. Because yeah. the FBI... Dickheads think the FBI is, is good friend? guys yeah. now. He's not. This is another bad guy, bad guy thing, right? Um, so Michael Burry was was basically harassed, audited and hassled by the FBI because he noticed that yep. the housing market was going to die. He kicked this off. Now, this is my theory. He bought enough of GameStop to be noticed. He knows that people like Wall Street Bets are watching what he does because yep. he's a celebrity now in that, in that scene, yep. right? And he knew that the shorting position of 140% if it was pushed, with what they call it, a, what is, is it a short squeeze? Yeah. He knew if it was pushed, would cause an enormous amount of damage, and he knew the hedge fund, the senior advisor, was, was the guy yeah. that engineered the bailout. Yeah. That's my theory. Yeah. I reckon. I reckon the the, the wildly autistic guy from the yeah. Big Short is is basically getting his revenge. We, we yeah we, we've seen, we've seen the biggest case of reciprocal butter ever. Like uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, and th- look, this guy's smart enough. Yeah. And he might have tried this uh, before. He might have tried this a few times. And this is the one that the, yeah yeah. On, right? yeah I, I'm, again, the, these are the kind of people who will sit there and, and work out every calculation, and they realize that. This is the chance. Like this is the one I take, and I just go all in on it. He's a very, very I- in ridiculously intelligent person. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. and I reckon when he bought the the couple of percent, whatever it was, of GameStop, I reckon he knew what he was doing, and yeah. I reckon I reckon he knew it to be followed, and I yeah. reckon basically he has found this and gone. This is the one. Yeah. This is the one that will get. Yeah, that will that will actually the Occupy protest didn't do a thing in the end, right? This is the one that's going to do the damage. Yeah. It's going to hurt them with what they because you know what? Yeah, rich people love money more than anything in the whole world. They, Why they're they, rich? Nobody loves money more than a person with lots of it. Yeah. Right? It's as simple as that. That is the absolute truth. Yeah, you can love money, but you don't love it as much as a wealthy person yeah. does, right? Uh, so because that is their entire identity, yeah. that is them, right? I reckon this is. I reckon. This is Barry's revenge. Well, we're gonna. It's gonna be an interesting two weeks. So you're you're Joe Biden, right? You've just you've just put down the coup. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> you've just put down the coup. You've just you've started dealing with that. Yeah, Jesus, all right. No, no, no. It's it's lower. It's, hey, you, you know, you're lucky I'm not Trump. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I need two hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So you've you've just dealt with all that. You know, they've even abandoned the unity calls. Trump's very quiet. You mentioned it earlier. I think, yeah, he's I, going. I, very I think 100. percent I've got theories on that too, but I'll save them for another day. Um, 
you've you've just reversed a lot of his, his things. You've made good on your promise to move the U.S. government fleet towards electric cars. That was good. Which means that you'll start seeing infrastructure build and We should do that stuff. in Australia. Yeah, it'd be great. Oh, imagine if we. Oh, had should we shut the factories down? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Tony yeah. Abbott shut the factories oh, down. Let's be oh, clear. So we. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> imagine coming in on your first week, and this is what you inherit. Like you're inheriting the Obama mess. And you don't even have two years to get ready for it. Do you no, know what the I mean? time, the timing would be difficult to time. Yeah, like yeah, I know, I know where you're going. Difficult to time because it needed a bit of a snowball yes. effect on, on Reddit because, because like I said, uh, Barry himself can't buy all the shares. Yeah. It needed to be something that was done bit by bit. Yeah. It needed to be done. It, it was like it was like crowdsourcing uh, Wall Street's yeah. pain, right? Yeah. And and, and it's, they are reveling in it. How yeah. happy, how happy. And you know, some of the stories you read as well. Some of the stories are heartbreaking. Yeah, like, like the guy that's talking about how how his family was having tomato soup made out of soup packets from the cafeteria at school, squished yeah. into their hot water. Like, just the, I mean, and we don't know in Australia how bad what yeah. how bad it was cause because 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 Wayne, Wayne Swan and Kevin Rudd are geniuses and we'll never get the credit they deserve for it. No, they won't because when you avoid a disaster, everyone thinks it didn't happen. Like yeah. like Y two K in my industry is one where yeah, sure, there's an awful amount of profiteering going on. But you know what? You needed to fix all those systems. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have big did. problems. Yeah. <laughs> you did have problems, right? Um, but, but but we avoided it. Everyone did a really good job. So everyone thinks now it's a scam. And same with the GFC. People in Australia think the GFC was a scam. Yeah. In America, they had 10 cities, right? They they, they, they really felt it yeah. um, because their government was incompetent. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, nothing against Obama. But this this is a George W. Bush thing. Let's, yeah, let's be yeah. totally honest. Um, anyway, well, I mean, he, yeah, again, he inherited it, but at least he had eight months. Do you know what I mean? Like, this, this is what I'm saying. I don't... Envy Biden walking into this and having to not bail him out because he's got two options. Either bail, okay, let, let's relate those list of things he's never going to do. Nationalize the debt, he's never going to do it. Close the stock market, he's never going to do it, right? So, what's his options? Bail him out, right? And deal with basically one term because the Republicans will ride that straight back into yeah, office. Yeah, dishonestly, but they will. Yeah, because yeah, that's yeah, poli- absolute dishonesty. Don't get that's wrong. that's politics yeah. and that's, that's how the game's played. Let them fail. And then deal with the the repercussions of that, um, which would be uh, if I honestly I think if he let them if he lets them fail and the banks that are backing capital and, and um, Melvin Capital fail, I think Biden gets a Dallas car ride. I, I genuinely think that there was enough force from the other side that like Mrs. Biden would be holding his skull his brain back into his skull. Uh, it, it just that is the magnitude we're talking. Rich people love their money. Yeah, and that like. Keep in mind, you know, you, you, you talk about the, the JFK conspiracy and all that kind of stuff, blah, blah, blah. But I genuinely think there would be enough push against it that it wouldn't be a joke anymore. They would they would genuinely execute him. And, and he, he knows that. Like, he's not he's not as scared of the, the Trumpies and stuff like that. There's enough. They're not coordinated enough. Then they're, they're not usually willing to suicide bomb. They don't have the religious belief. But I think if he lets the banks fail, he's a dead man. Dead man walking. Um, there's a Jimmy Dore... Um episode where just a recent one where he showed a whole heap of clips from all the financial programs yeah. where they were just losing their shit they were just they just weren't dealing with it at all it's good to watch um, yeah look the, the other one is um, there's been they've gone back to the tried and true oh it's you know it's a white supremacist or it's a, it's overseas money funding this it's not Let, let's be clear about what this is and this this is a, this is a an underlying um, sentiment in society and, and, and I think it's really strong in the US from what I see um, that Trump tapped into, and let's not get into whether he was uh, legit about that or not, but the fact is he tapped into yeah. it, right? There is a, there is an underlying hatred of the hedge funds, yes. of Wall Street. There the is, elites, quite unquote. The, the elites, the 1%, although it's probably more than the 1%, I call them 1%, but yeah, the elites, the group in this is probably 10%, top 10%, yeah. right? But there is there is such an... And you know what? This is, is going to scare the shit out of them. Not yeah. just they're losing money. And when they're talking domestic terrorism laws, now they, they start talking domestic terrorism laws after the Capitol yeah. protests. And in a way, I saw, um, did you watch Crystal and Cigar, the Hill thing? Uh, it's, no, pretty, I saw your link. Good YouTube yeah. show. Uh, she, she was arguing that the, uh, the even the Capitol protests underlying that was was the same hatred of, but, yeah. but misdirected, right? And this is the thing, it gets misdirected. It always gets, it always gets tried to send... Politicians are always... My, 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 okay, this, but this is my argument about... Okay, we can go into local politics on this. That's my argument about Labor. People go, they don't act for the working class. And what's like, no, because the working class have been pie piped to the Pauline Hansons and the Catters of this world. Labor can't reach them anymore because Labor, Labor doesn't instantly want to blame the brown fella for everything being wrong. 
But it's Pauline Hanson game. will have to... Yeah, that, that's a, it's a Pauline Hanson game. And Pauline, that's, Pauline Hanson in, exists so that the Libs don't have to get their hands dirty anymore. They tried to put her in jail and it didn't work because no one from the Liberal Party could carry it. Tony Abbott did yeah, it. Yeah, and it was, certainly was. The rich yeah. folks in the Liberal Party didn't want to carry it. But yeah. Well, Simon's asked us about games. Anyway, let's... That's GameStop. I hope we summed it up. Yes. I hope we summed it up. Uh, it's going to go well. Um, look, it, it's go watch the Big Short. Go watch Vice as well. Um, th- this is this is basically it started with the video game store. That was our yeah. loose loose link to video game news. Um, I, I, I still think, I still think it's an interesting, it. yeah, an interesting internet culture thing. As internet, much as much uh, as we talk about politics, I think this one time we were justified. The rest of it, sure, we probably could have stayed on video games. And but. you got to see in America the domestic terrorism laws are going to be used against this. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I, look, I love Patriot I, Act 2.0. Absolutely reveling in this because because this is when the internet does good. Yeah. And I, and this is great. And uh, you know what? I nothing makes me happier than to see a whole heap of rich people lose a bit of money. Yeah. Um, now, sorry, Simon. Uh, I don't have any more gaming news. Do you have any gaming news? Do ones about Konami? We'll do the Konami one. Konami. Okay, well, look, there, there was Konami... Uh, there was rumours that Konami was shutting down their game division. They've denied it. Uh, they said they restructured and divided several departments, whatever the hell So, for means. your reference, Simon, EB Games is owned by GameStop. So... Oh, it uh, is, is it? Yes, EB oh, Games because when I was explaining it to my kids, because they were asking about it, because they saw the memes, right? Because mm. memes. Memes are, memes are art. Memes are the yeah. art of this generation, right? Uh, I said, oh, it's, uh, GameStop in America is like EB. Yeah. <laughs> e- <laughs> e- 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 EB, EB and Zing <laughs> is uh, the parent company in Australia that owns them. is owned by GameStop. It's one of their affiliates. So Electronics Boutique is a brand that exists in Canada and it exists in Australia now as well. And that's because GameStop moved it over here. I wonder what will happen so with that. Uh, well, e- e- well it's right now, e- EB is... Have a sleeve. They want to raise any funds right now. It's a good time. I said it to, I said it to, yeah, I said it to people I know who work at Zing. I said, you're all gilded now. Holy crap. Like, That's your name true. badges will be solid gold. Yeah, well, oh, yeah, because they're, they're different share markets, which is really dumb. But I'll tell you what, if, if the employees get any uh, stock as part of their pay, <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Uh, uh, and I will say one, one very few, yeah, uh, so. You don't want to do any more shit. Uh, you can do it through Coles. I, I know for sure Coles will let you do it. Coles used to have employee discounts. They still do. Oh, with share, share, great, no, so shareholder discounts. If you were, oh, if you were a shareholder yeah, yeah, yeah. in Cosmo, you used to get discounts. You don't do that anymore. You only get it Yeah, because all the super funds own them, and these super funds don't want discounts. Yeah. So they had two classes of shares for a while. Anyway, uh, another thing. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. Uh, yeah, so, so yeah, there you go. And, and, yeah, and if, while we're talking about it as well, don't let the uh, Australian politics convince you that selling uh, superannuation companies to... Uh, fund infrastructure projects in America is a good idea because it's not a good idea. It was Trumbull wanted to do that. That was Trumbull, your mate? I like Trumbull. I still, well, okay, he's, he's the best in mm. a bunch. <laughs> you can't deny that. Mm. Okay, Trumbull, uh, Abbott, Morrison, come on. Oh, you just make sure... That uh, not gonna say it. Not gonna say it. <laughs> Is that a? Yeah, I was saying, I was saying, just make sure you buy enough fertilizer. If I had two bullets in a yeah. gun, who would you shoot? Yeah, no, yeah. Or me twice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, 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 Hillary Clinton wanted me. Yeah, there you go. There's your conspiracy. Oh, ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, well, we'll I'm, see. Yeah. We'll see how many of the redditors have uh, information that would lead shout to Hillary's shout address. Out to Seth Rich. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, let, let's wrap it up. That's we've run long. Uh, thank you for listening. Anyway, um, it's a great story. I love it. Check the memes. Oh, I posted a lot about it. I made it more public as well. Go to my yeah. Facebook. Page. Oh yeah, I'll share that one that I wanted the other day. Facebook, Facebook slash. You know, I think I've done my full name, Jared McDermott. But uh, go there. I'll just dox myself. Go there. Uh, what I about your Twitter as well? You got your Twitter? You no, know nah, that's closed now because I'm planning to shut down. Um, there's really? A new, there's a new social network called Parler. Oh, no, <laughs> Parler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I yeah, got my white suit and that. Yeah. Yeah, um, <laughs> no, the, uh, the spooky the, ghost costume. Yeah. Um, no, Panquake, which is uh, Elizabeth. Uh, Liv Voss, um, uh, Caitlin Johnson, Jimmy Dore, a bunch of others are all involved in it. Right. And it, it's it's a it's a blockchain social uh, media okay, network. Yeah. Um, they they're they're raising funds at the moment. Oh, yeah. Um, so basically, what they're going to do is you can import all your Twitter history into Panquake, and from there, it's basically. It's going to be a a what do you call it like a free speech platform, but not for maniacs. Uh, it, it's basically a, an uncensorable sort of social yeah, platform, right. but it's it's basically being run by um, or the the genuine lefty crowd, yeah. um, the anti the anti establishment. Yeah. Caitlin K- Johnson is one of the very interview. few people I would actually want to interview. It, like, it's, it's, that, it's that group. It's that group that's in it. Um, uh, Chris Hedges, people like that. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a it's a real a list of. Like genuine really left, genuine yeah. left uh, commentators, they're backing it, yeah. and so my my plan. I've made my tweets 
private for yeah. now, so it's only for people to follow, and with the plan of moving to Panquake right. at some point in the future. Well, I'll, I'll sign up for a fake account now. Like, well, I'll, I'll buy my names now. Uh, no, they'll only give accounts now if you if you donate to the thing because it's gotcha. in it's in a yeah, Kickstarter yeah. sort of phase. Um, but look, it looks it looks promising, and it looks like uh, like there's all guarantees that your stuff won't be shared, like you know, for yeah. advertisers and stuff like that. It looks promising. I'm happy to to ditch Twitter because I, I like to read Twitter for news because yeah, you know, Twitter and 4chan are that different. No. I can go on both for now, sure. and this is this is how ridiculous it's gotten, right? I can go on both now, and I'm reading the same sort of talk on each and they'll be talking about different and, things. And obviously there's a certain amount of trolls that cross over between both but it's not that. It's oh, just that... People underestimate how many how many of the... Um, yeah, people underestimate if you go on to uh, any social media people underestimate the sheer volume of people just trying to cause trouble. Yeah. Um, and and, and, and social media networks are constantly trying to clean them up and they're trying to incriminate them. So they're trying to play stuff there. And it's something that doesn't happen so much on Twitter and Facebook because they're in the cool kids club. Yeah. Um, they're, they're the approved ones. But on, on the smaller ones, it does. And even when you get there, was was um, Vote, which was a Redditor competitor yeah. for a while. The, the, there's a lot of stuff that's clearly placed to be found later. Yeah. Um, so, um, and, and look, that's that happens as well on 4chan. And it, I, always, I always say 4chan's um, FBI agents cosplaying as LARPing normies. Is, uh, LARPing yeah. as normies. And normies LARPing as, as FBI agents. And it's just that. It's just this little battle for... And that's why they're all calling each other shills and stuff like that. Um, but if I, I'm, Panquake looks to me like it's finally the um, social media network that will be like... Yeah, genuinely safe. Genuinely, yeah. genuinely an improvement because Twitter's not an improvement. No, um, Facebook's not. Although Facebook, you can articulate things better, uh, so I don't mind yeah. Facebook. I, but, I, but also, I would say that that level of like suddenly, if you're using more words, people think you're more credible when what you're talking is absolute nonsense, and so it, it breeds that kind of contempt, almost like familiarity breeds contempt, kind of thing. Oh, look, I may give up on Facebook at some point. Yeah. As well. uh, look, if I, I only use it for it stuff like this and for events and stuff like that. It's literally the only reason I'm on Facebook. If there was any other way around, that I just use it for NGP yeah, stuff. Realistically, <laughs> Facebook, YouTube, and look, uh, Twitter. Twitter is just a. It's it's not contributing positively yeah. to the world. So agree. Uh, I'll be moving from that. So that's sorry. That's a long story about on Twitter at the moment. It's, Tweets are projected as a, as a as a stepping stone to closing it down. Nice. Uh, um, yeah. If I want to read idiots, I'll go on. I'll go on other networks. Yeah. Twitter, Twitter has become. I, I would I would say right now you're more likely to to you're you're better off going to one of the chans than Twitter right now. Yeah, Twi- yeah, Twitter sure. is industrialized bullying. It is it is just people trying to hurt other people. It is there is no value. Um, the world will be a better place if Twitter was shut down. Leave the others here. Facebook gets the heat. Twitter deserves the heat. Yeah. Simple as yeah, that. Yeah, I agree. All right, I think on that, we'll wrap it up. Um, Casper is meant to be back hopefully by the end of the month. Oh, cool. um, We've got our, our first uh, what's content meeting coming up this week. So if anyone's watching from the show, get ready for later this week. It's content meeting. Um, <laughs> so we're doing um, yeah, yeah, so it's on, on uh, uh, NewGamePlus.tv is the website. Yeah, um, yeah TV is the website. Uh, there's some cool stuff coming from there. Um, you might actually find them be busy after all that talk. So yeah, no, yeah. no. Yeah, right. I, I just want to play games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to read GameStonk uh, memes. Yeah, yeah GameStonk game. memes. Yeah, yeah. GameStonk um, memes. But otherwise, yeah, we'll. I guess we'll see you all next week. Probably next Monday. Uh, I am seeing Ben Folds tomorrow, so that's why we moved to Sunday for this week. But maybe we'll keep Sunday. Maybe we'll move to Monday. Who knows? No worries. Well, thanks everybody for. <laughs> We're going to accidentally suicide soon. Uh, the possibility, uh, Sefi. Definitely yeah. a possibility. Yeah. Anyway, um, thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll see you see next you week. Later.